Welcome back, everybody, to To Be or Not To Be. Yeah. It's not really a question on the title screen, but, you know, we're, we're working with it anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, we just finished <laughs> up with Ophelia, so I guess we're moving on to Hamlet? Yeah. Yes. Um, should we introduce ourselves again? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm the Outback Al. I'm Hot for Justice. Yin and Yang. And I'm GB New. Alright. Here we go. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, we don't. Mm, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. No history. Something. Uh, let's choose our character. Yes. Mm. Babies are boring. Do, 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 do. <laughs> if you want to actually read any of the stuff, go back to episode one. Okay, play as Hamlet. Alright. <coughs> True root. <coughs> to Stop. Be. Hammer time. <laughs> Hamlet time. <laughs> oh, that doesn't work. That... Alright. <clears throat> You are Hamlet. You're 30 years old, and, oh. you're, <laughs> and you're back living at home. But it's okay, because your home is a castle. That's right, ladies. You're a prince. Things have been rough lately. You have been trying to focus on your studies at Wittenberg University, where you and your bros, Horatio, Rosencrantz, and <laughs> Guildenstern all hang out. But you were called home because your father died. Bummer. Then your dead dad's brother, Claudius, married your mom. Gertrude, two weeks later. Gross. Yep. Spicy. What a step funkle. <laughs> it's made you kind of upset. You raced home to comfort her, but she's married your uncle, and that's weird. You feel weird. Right now, you're in the audience chamber of your father's castle here in sunny Denmark. King Claudius is here addressing his court. Laertes and Polonius are here too. Laertes is kind of a jerk, and Polonius is his father. Polonius is also the father of Ophelia, who you're totally sweet on. She's not here, though. Who knows what adventures she's having as we speak while you're stuck in this drafty castle room listening to other people talk about their feelings? She's trying to invent the thermometer! <laughs> if you want to know more, go back to another episode. <laughs> speaking of speaking, just now Laertes says something about how now that Claudius is king and he's attended the coronation, is it okay for him to go back to France? Claudius says, sure. Wait a minute. You'd love to leave, too, and go back to school, away from this weird incesty thing your mother's gotten herself into. Well, for her, it's not really incesty. Yeah. It's so it's gross It's no more and incesty weird. than her husband was. <laughs> Which, knowing true. royal families of Europe, it might have already been. Wherefore? Okay, are we asking Claudius Wherefore? for permission to go back to school, or are we hold your tongue and just wait around? So does the school mean that's, that's the, the Hamlet That's the thing that happened in uh -huh. Hamlet. Uh -huh. Um... I feel like we should pick four, Gav. I feel like that's kind of how it's been going. Like, we, we kind of decided for Ophelia, and Chips kind of read it, and you guys kind of decided for Hamlet Sr., and then yeah. I kind of read it. So okay. I guess we're in control of your fate. All right, go ahead. Uh, I kind of still want him to go back to school. You got to get that education. I'd be fine with going back to school. Education. We're all going back to school? Yeah. You hold up your hand and open your mouth, but before you can say anything, Claudius addresses you directly, calling you his son. How dare oh he? Oh my. On the one hand, that's entirely appropriate, especially since he just married your mom like two weeks ago. But on the other hand, he has brought Creepy Uncle to new heights. Creepy Funkle. Creepy Funkle. Creepy points. Uncle points. Oh. Points for that, maybe? What now? Alright. We could insult him under your breath by saying you're more than kin. Oh, we're kidding him now. <laughs> but less than kind. In real life, people think up zingers like this on the spot all the time, so it totally makes sense. Say, you're not my real dad. It's from out of the room. It's pretty <sighs> emo, and the Be description to describe ass. him is Be emo. Be a punk ass. Yeah. You're not my real dad. Okay. While you're busy doing that, your friend Horatio bumps into you and tells you. I'll be Horatio. I'll be Horatio. Uh, uh, should I be Horatio? Uh, Yin will be Hor Horatio. Okay. Okay, he's in town for your dad's funeral slash mom's wedding, and they serve leftover appetizers from one at the other. Or, ghosts serve you. Or, he's seen one, and so have a bunch of other guys. Or, it keeps showing up at the same time. I think these and are all a sequential thing. He's seen uh, A, B, B nice. C, C, D. So these are not options. I messed that up. E, he's pretty sure it's the ghost of your dad. 
Finally, some adventure, some closure. You agree that you'll come with him tonight to see the ghost when it shows up again. It's such an obvious decision that it kind of feels like you don't even have a choice in the matter. We don't. What do you do? I, I guess no yes. Go back. Sleuthy skull. <laughs> I don't. All right. Quit the game. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll be there 11.30 sharp, you say, and Hor Horatio leaves, satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, now you have eight hours to blow before it's time to meet some ghosts. What do you want to do? How uh, are we going to see Ophelia or play solitaire? Play solitaire. Play solitaire. <laughs> uh, that's our choice. Um, I mean, do we want it real? I mean, should we really? So far, we're going someone? down the route. Not. Well, we made one or two decisions that weren't. I feel like. Uh, do we really want to interrupt Ophelia? Working diligently also to make be the. Ophelia. Uh, Oh, be Ophelia. Be I thought it was good yeah, talk. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're cross dressing up in this one now. Okay. Uh, what? Okay. Or, or is it like we're playing as oh! Ophelia now? Oh, oh, we're playing as Ophelia. Oh. Oh. We messed that up. <laughs> okay. Oopsie. All right, well. Oh, we're man. Are we way. back we on Ophelia this? route? Yeah. Dude. Yes, we is. Oh, wait. This is the same story. Oh, that, uh, uh. Go back. Wait, sir, a checkpoint. Can we go back? Check wait, we're check already point. on it. Should check we just. Point. No, go back. Right. Uh. In which Hamlet experiences the afterlife? Oh, no, no. I don't think we have. Oh, we can't go back. I think those are our no. checkpoints. No. I but think... that's Hamlet Senior. We not. Oh, let, no. We'll just skip through it. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a fun episode where we quit and start all over. Uh, how about we just skip this part? Just fast forward real fast. Oh yeah, in the in the, in the video, video, we're gonna cut it. Cut. Uh, Ghostly uh, times. We're going to play solitaire. solitaire I guess. <clears throat> play solitaire. <laughs> All right. Here, we're going to play some solitaire. So we don't, what if apparently it forces us really anyway? wrong no. with Ophelia. All right. You, we Hamlet, Prince. Yeah, but he could diverge somewhere else. Yeah. You, Hamlet, Prince of all of Denmark, are now sitting in your bedroom and playing solitaire for hours and hours and hours and hours. Which is pretty colossus colossally useless waste of your time, especially since you keep cheating. A five goes on top of a three, Hamlet? Really? That's how you cheat? <laughs> anyway, at this point, we're 15 games in, and wow, if you're not careful, people might start saying that your tragic flaw is, I don't know, in action. In action, man. Cheat it. <laughs> she <is solid. laughs> right. down to <laughs> Eventually, the sun goes down, and it's almost 1130, which hopefully you remember is the appointed hour Horatio told you about where in a ghost keeps showing up to bother him. It's not... Time to go meet that ghost, huh? Meet up with Horatio and bust some myths about actual ghosts being real. There's still no choice. You and Horatio go where he saw the ghost the first time. Now we play the waiting game, says Horatio. Yeah. He's interrupted by the sound of trumpets. You look at him and raise an eyebrow. Uh, they make that noise to warn everyone that King Claudius is getting wasted. Those trumpets go off every night around this time. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Denmark. <laughs> At that exact moment, something insanely crazy happens. What the frig? I'll tell you what the frig. A ghost is here. <laughs> Look, ghost. Ooh, spooky. I like that little ghost. Don't freak out. Don't freak out, but right now you're staring cold in the face of a Google specter. You can't even imagine how crazy this whole situation is. If you're getting too scared, read this next clause over and over until you're not insane with fear anymore. Everything will be okay. Alright, okay, we can do this. With your last shred of sanity, you quickly glance at the ghost. And then you worry that if you stare at the ghost too hard, your brain will realize it's looking at something so insanely impossible that you'll just black out. Anyway, this is actually taking a pretty realistic approach to some ghostly stuff, it's just, but it is kind of feeling a bit Lovecrafty. Yeah. Anyway, this ghost, you can see through it, but only a little. It's weird. And I'll tell you what the frig else. This ghost does look like your dad, and he's getting closer. 
What now? Papa. Okay. <laughs> we can stare at the ghost intently and black out as your mind shuts down. Don't stare at it too intensely and try to figure out what it wants or run away. I mean, personally, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah. I ain't afraid of no ghost. So we're not running away. But, yeah. uh, but do we want to black out or hear it out? I think we want to hear it out. I think we're working on a post-paradoxal secondary something. Look at episode one for whatever this irony is, but like, do, should we... Yeah, let's let's see what he wants. All right. Ghost. Are you my dad? I mean, my ghost dad? That's not a great thing. <laughs> you ask the ghost, but it says nothing. Instead, the ghost beckons to you. He clearly wants you to follow him and leave Horatio behind. I don't know. Is this safe? Can ghosts kill people? C can ghosts kill people? Yeah! Okay. I'll, I'm gonna stop doing that. I don't know, man, but I really don't think you should be alone with that thing. He says, clearly leaving no ball untripped in his own freak out. Hamlet, man, something is rotten in the state of Denmark, I gotta say. He yells, his quivering finger pointing at the ghost. Well, duh. I'm gonna do it, <clears throat> you don't say. Don't do it. And you, do what do you do? We gotta follow the ghost into darkness or go on to say, by that I mean, I'm going to take this last chance to run for it. What should we do? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. We should just keep I going with the no ghosts. Ghost. Keep going. Alrighty. Keep going. You follow the ghost into the mist. After walking for what seems like forever, you get tired of walking. I'm tired of walking, you say. You sit down. Pretty sure I'm done walking. Yeah, yeah, I'm out. The ghost stops and speaks to you for the first time, its voice issuing forth from lungs that no longer breathe air. How am I supposed to make my lungs not breathe air? Hamlet, it is not your father. Look, I can't stay around here forever. So you need to listen to what I tell you. <gasps> I didn't die of old age. I did some <laughs> digging around, and it turns out I was murdered by Claudius. <gasps> Killed by his I own did. brother. <laughs> he did it while I slept. I was walking in a garden, and you know how gardens are really boring, right? Oh, so boring. They're boring even for people who like them. Damn right, son. Exactly. <laughs> yes, son. Well, it was so boring. I fell asleep and I was sleeping. It put poison in my ear. I didn't know poisons worked that way. Well, sh dog. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Uh, Shouts your dad. <laughs> oh, sorry. He paces back and forth. Anyway, I want you to take revenge on him for me. I don't know. Cuss him out or something. Pull out his chair when he's about to sit down. Or maybe just blow him up. That's an option too. And I might do that sometime, you know? Uh, Offer him a high five, but when he goes to high five you, pull your hand away and say, too slow. Or should he offer you a high five, you must leave him hanging. Oh, so evil. Oh. I, I could murder him, you offer. After all, he is sleeping with mom. What the what now? <laughs> oh, that's pretty much yeah. yeah. I'm a good ghost dad. What now? We could tell him they got married two weeks after the funeral or tell him, haha, you were just kidding. This is information he needs to know. I, yeah. I'm really should. following the story here. Do you want to go off it? I don't know if this is the point where I want to go off of it yet. Yeah, let's wait till we get something a little bit more. Something appetizing. a little more interesting. You say they got married basically right after the funeral, and that makes Claudius king now. And your Funkel. Yeah. You explain how maybe it's not technically incest, but the timing alone sure feels squicky. Didn't ye ever read the table of kindred and affinity wherein whosoever are related of a bitten in scripture, and our law to many married together? I I don't know. Something's, something's wrong with this voice. Ah, you refer to the document Queen Elizabeth ordered produced, which says a marriage such as this one we're discussing is not just squicky, but a real-life hardcore sin against God, a book which later made its way into the Book of Common Prayer. Itself so influential that we take many phrases such as 
till death us do part and peace in our time from it? The more you know. <laughs> the very same, the very same. I nod, nod, nod. Although I can imagine that in the future sentiments might change. As to whether or not such a marriage between genetically unrelated, loving, and consenting adults is among the very worst things it is possible for a human being to do. That's not necessary for us to discuss right now. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, says your dad, kill Claudius for me. Kill! All right, well, we can promise a ghost you'll commit murder, or we could promise a ghost you'll commit murder in the classiest verse you can come up with. Uh, um, I mean, mm, let, let's keep it simple. Mm, I don't think yeah. we need to, to We don't go need to... those verses. Huh? We don't, we don't need, need to get verses. poetic on this. Yeah. Uh, Shakespeare's not known for his poetry. Let's just keep it simple. <clears throat> Tilt your head, put on a grin, and give your dad a double thumbs up. I'm doing that right now. I promise. <laughs> I promise I'm gonna kill him. Your dad seems satisfied. Heck yeah. New quest. New quest. Woo. That's oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what now? Okay, uh, let's go, go back to Horatio, my buddy. You walk back to where Horatio is waiting for you. Listen, Horatio, never speak of this whole we totally saw a ghost thing, okay? We've got to keep it a secret. That's cool. No, I'm serious, man. Some really serious stuff is going to go down, and I need you to keep this a secret. I swear that you'll never talk about this. I swear. Swear it! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I already... No, I <laughs> he already did, you shout. Horatio looks at you questioning. Hamlet, bro, what's this all about? I'll tell you what it's about, Sonny Jim. I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> there are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in my philosophy. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> than are dreamt of in my philosophy. Fine. Right. Whatever. This one actually has a lot more dialogue. Yeah. Okay, Horatio will keep your secret, and you've got a quest from a ghost to fulfill. And at the end, he'll probably give you some cool loot for completing it. Maybe? I mean, it's possible. Anyway, it's past midnight, and Claudius has probably fallen down drunk. What now? Say goodbye to Horatio and go kill Claudius. Go home for a nappy time. Well, I, I love mean, nappy let's, time. let's get this done. Let's do this. Let's go kill your Kill him! Alright. This guy's gotta go. You wait until it's 2 a.m., planning to sneak into Claudius' room and give him the old stabby stab. But on your way there, you find him passed out in the hallway. Oh, this bot- is easy. There's a bottle of booze in his hand. He really is a cartoon drunk. This is gonna be real easy. Um. You hold your hand over his mouth so he can't scream and slit his throat, and he's dead <laughs> within the minute. Boom. Wow. Ta-da! You leave quietly, making sure not to be seen, and head down to the shore to wash your blood-soaked hands and your blood-soaked clothes. Ocean water cleans off the blood quickly, which is great because you heard it was hard to get out damned blood spots. Turns that out damn spot. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck those spots. Turns out, nope, it's actually really easy. You're glad you stayed cool and rational and didn't freak out at all during this process. Good job, champ. You're kind of a serial killer. Get so You're cold. It's like you've killer. done this yeah. before. Yeah, you might be a serial murderer. Oh of man. Some kind. You walk home in your wet clothes, change into adorable pajamas, they have bunnies on them, get into bed and fall asleep. <laughs> well done, son. Content in the knowledge that you are right to murder a dude, and that you even had supernatural forces on your side, your dreams are generally peaceful. There's some sex stuff in there too, but whatever, man, it happens. Don't even worry about it. It's honestly not a big deal. In the morning, you act super surprised that Claudius got killed to death. What? You say, waving your hands in the air. Come to think of it, that was probably a little much, but everyone bought it. Phew. And then later you become king. Everything and, the light touches. And check it, <laughs> your economic... Kingdom. <laughs> your economic policies are both wise and fair, and your country becomes way prosperous. Due to economics not being a zero-sum game, you not only make the lives of your subjects better, but you actually improve the lives of those they trade with, too. Hamlet, you've literally made the world a better place. Nice. 
And all, I, and all I had to do was kill a human being. P.S. Oh, I meant to mention it sooner, but one day you step on a butterfly that has the cascade effect of preventing not one, but two worldwide wars from occurring centuries down the line. So, good job, Laranda, I'd say. Keep on killing everyone who interferes with the preferred version of history, I'd say. We are on the greatest timeline. Yeah, we are terrific at being Hamlet. For real this time. Alright. Oh. What? Look at all the wonderful things done today. Oh, I guess. Let's, I'm having a little bit of... Okay. Is that the butterfly at the bottom? I guess so. Oh, yeah. I see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're on top of the world. We mm -hmm. are king. Okay. The end. It is so awesome. Now, let's not overclick ourselves and find that on the Hamletometer where we landed. I hope we're some hot stuff. No, wild thing. Oh, not too big. There's no way. Not how? <laughs> oh, I how think actually, it might depend on how many choices that we actually make that actually follow the skull the whole well, way. Well, you know what? We actually did a couple of We were pretty close. Yeah, I'm gonna stop doing that voice. <laughs> Game over. Stats is adventure. Poisons misuse one. Choices made thirteen. Times you were one. Times you were not zero. Uh times Marlin is uh okay. Mm, yeah. Mm. Alright. Cool beans. Yeah. Do we wanna do any more of these or do we wanna like make the series like kinda short? I mean we can always uh, come back to this at a later time. Yeah, yeah we I think honestly, if this does okay, like we can maybe go back and actually read Hamlet. Oh, yeah. I mean, because you know I, I, we why got we the best ending. Why don't we? Why don't we actually do Hamlet? Okay. One last. How one. long do you think this will take? I don't know. We got through it pretty quick for the most part. Okay. All right. One more episode. Okay. Uh, see you next time around. So next time we're, we're doing Hamlet. We'll try and Hamlet. get that to be. We're we're gonna be. Oh yeah, we'll be okay. alright. And and yeah. you be there to see it. All right, bye bye. 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 bye.